Let's find out how rare your body is. Only 10% of people have something called Darwin's tubercle, and it's this little bump on the outside of your ear. And it's believed that people who have this are better at sensing voice tonality. 16% of people can make a roaring sound in their head using their jaw. They're able to do this because they can control a small muscle in their jaw that normally deafens chewing. But when it's flexed, it makes that roaring sound in your head. Only about 35% of people can gleek, and only 1% can do it on command. And gleeking is just when you're squirting saliva from under underneath your tongue. Only 10% of people have something called Morton's toe, and this is where your big toe is shorter than the toe next to it. And believe it or not, the Statue of Liberty actually has a Morton's toe. Only 30% of people can flare their nostrils on command. And believe it or not, everyone can flare their nostrils and we do it all the time subconsciously. But that muscle is rarely used and is very weak, so it's hard to do for some people. Tying a cherry stem in a knot with your tongue. Only about 14% of people can actually do this. Only about 5% of people have hypermobile hands like this. And some of them can even grab things with the back of their hand. Only about 2.8% of people have ADHD. And ADHD is more common in males usually than females. About 65% of people are lactose intolerant. Most mammals quickly lose their ability to digest lactose after weaning off. But humans' recent evolution has extended lactose tolerance into adulthood. About 5% of people are born with their tongue tied. This is where your tongue is literally tied to the bottom of your mouth. And this can sometimes impact speech and eating. And it's three Three times more common in males than females. Only 10% of people have a birthmark. These birthmarks are usually oval in shape and come in a coffee type color, and in French it translates to coffee with milk. Only 10% of people can touch their tongue to their nose without their hands. In medical terms, this is called the Gorlin sign. And only about 10% of people can actually do this without pushing your tongue up to your nose because that doesn't count. Only 25% of people sneeze when they're exposed to direct sunlight. It's called the photic sneeze reflex. Less than 1% of people can hear hear colors and see sounds, and this is called synesthesia. Only 25% of people have perfect teeth and never need braces or any orthodontics. But only 45% of kids need braces, but around 75% need orthodontic care for some other reasons. Only 2% of people have something called visual snow syndrome, and this is what it looks like when you have it. It's a neurological disorder that's characterized by tiny flickering little dots that almost look like static or snow. Around 33% of people have an astigmatism. This is when the lens inside your eye has mismatched curves. It's also usually the reason lights might look blurry or fuzzy or have halos around them like in the picture above. About 40% of people have something called keratosis polaris. It causes rough dry skin and usually these tiny little bumps. And it's most common on the upper arms, your cheeks, and your thighs. 2.6% of people have something called hyperphantasia. This is a condition where you can see extremely clear and vivid images in your mind with little effort. And these images are usually able to be manipulated by you as if you're there. About about 28% of people have a dark limbal ring, which is this dark ring around the outside of your eye, and as you age, you're more likely to have one. Only about 5% of people have something called back dimples, and this is more common in females than it is in males. Only about 4% of people have something called a talon's cusp, and you can see it right on the back of the tooth. It's almost like a little talon or fang, and they're usually not harmful, and they are more common in males over females. Only about 33% of people are left eye dominant, and yes, you actually actually have a dominant eye. And if you want to test which eye you are dominant in, put your hands in a little triangle, put them out and center an object in it, and then close your left eye. And if the object stays centered, your right eye dominant. And if it's the opposite, then your left eye dominant. About 60% of people have freckles on their eyes. It's also called a nevus and it can appear on the color parts of your eye or even the white. And it can be a small little dot or it could be a huge one as well. It's thought that extended sun exposure causes these. However, if they're flat, they don't really pose any risk. About 1% of people are born without a nail, and this is usually a genetic condition where people are missing their entire fingernail, but there are times when only parts are missing. Only about 5% of people have rosy cheeks, and this is also called rosacea, and it's a skin condition that causes the visible blushing or flushing of the blood vessels in your skin, and this is different from having naturally rosy cheeks. Less than 1% of people have an eyeball scar. This is also called a macular pucker, and it's when the vitreous pulls away from the retina and it can cause blurry vision. About 10% of people have something called restless leg syndrome, and this is a condition that's characterized by an irresistible urge to move or shake your legs, and it normally occurs when you're sitting or lying down, and it can range in severity. Less than 1% of people have something called the jumping Frenchman of Maine, and this is characterized by an uncontrollable yet exaggerated response to being startled or scared, and people with this condition might yell, scream, throw their arms up, or throw things to an unexpected sound 
around or even just a poke. About 40% of people have a difficult time swallowing pills. This normally comes from a fear of gagging, and oftentimes comes from a previous bad experience trying to swallow pills, which can cause the throat muscles to tighten up and make it even more difficult. About 20% of people have dyslexia. Dyslexia is a learning disability that can cause trouble with processing words and numbers, and it can range in severity. Some people just mix up words like left and felt, and sometimes words blend together and remove spaces. About 6% of people can vibrate their eyes, and this is also known as voluntary nystagmus where you're just rapidly moving your eyes back and forth. Only 36% of people have a detached earlobe like this, while the other 64% have an earlobe like this. Only about 25% of the population are super tasters, and these are people who have more of the visible taste papillae, which are the little dots on your tongue, and it makes you a lot more sensitive to types of food that are bitter, sweet, spicy, salty, and so on. Only about half a percent of people have webbed feet, and this is most common in the second and third toe, and people like Ashton Kutcher and Joseph Stalin have webbed feet. Only about 2% of people have a lazy eye, and a lot of times this is caused during childhood when the brain focuses on one eye more than the other, and if the eye isn't getting normal stimulation, the nerve cells do not mature normally. Less than 1% of people have this small little hole right on their ear. Some evolutionary biologists claim this used to be a gill on humans. 35% of people have no wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth used to serve a purpose, but they no longer serve a purpose in us, which is why we take them out a lot of times so they don't get infected when they're pushing through your gums. And if you don't have wisdom teeth, I'm jealous of you. Less than 1% of people have retinitis pigmentosa. This is a rare eye disease that affects your retina with no current cure. It makes cells in the retina break down slowly over time, causing vision loss. 20% of people are double jointed. This is thought to be genetic and due to a variation in collagen in your connective tissues. Less than 1% of people in the US have AB negative blood. And believe it or not, there's something called golden blood, which only about 40 people in the world have and it's completely different than any other blood. So between 55 and 79 percent of people have brown eyes and it's believed that the human race started out only having brown eyes but due to genetic mutations other colors came about. Only about 9% of people have blue eyes. People with blue eyes are usually more sensitive to light than those with darker colors due to them having less melanin. Only about 5% of people have hazel eyes, and hazel eyes have a concentration of melanin around the outside of the iris, giving them a multicolored look. Only about 5% of people have amber-colored eyes, and amber-colored eyes are a lot more common in animals than they are in humans. Only about 2% of people have green eyes, however, 86% of people in Ireland or Scotland have green eyes. Only 3.6% of people people in the world sleepwalk, and there have been instances of people sleepwalking where they'll drive, go through a normal routine, eat, get dressed, and so on. About 12% of people have claustrophobia. Claustrophobia is one of the most common phobias where you are scared of tight spaces, and it appears in women more than men. About 25% of people have insomnia, and the most common causes from insomnia are stress, irregular sleep schedule, depression, anxiety, and more. About 7% of people suffer from social anxiety, and this is when you get anxious or nervous either immediately or even weeks before an event. Social anxiety can also cause things like shortness of breath, dizziness, diarrhea, out-of-body sensations, and more. About 5% of people have a cleft chin. Cleft chins are normally genetic and the dimple forms before birth, and it's caused by the two sides of the lower jaw not completely fusing together when you're in fetal development. About 5% of people have a cracked tongue. This may be developed at birth or developed in childhood, and the exact cause isn't known. However, it can be associated with things like Down syndrome and malnutrition. About 46% of people have these things called skin tags. They're most common in people who tend to go through hormonal changes like pregnancy. And while they can occur at any age, they seem to be more common in those that are 60 years old and older. About 80% of people are affected by acne at some point in their life. Acne is most common in teenagers. However, unfortunately, it can happen at any age. And around 20% of those people people have severe acne. About 10% of people have something called eczema. This is a condition that can make your skin red and itchy, and it's most common at childhood, but it can happen at any age. As of now, there's no current cure, but there are ways to reduce the itching and redness. Less than 1% of people have these tentacles under their tongue. These are also called plica fimbriata, and their little tentacles are skin tags that go under your tongue. These are usually harmless most of the time. Less than 1% of people have extra long eyelashes. Lashes. This is known as trichomegaly, which is a condition where your eyelashes are abnormally long, thick, 
curly, or have more pigment. Less than 1% of people have a streak of dark hair. This is usually due to an increase in melanin in the area, and there's actually no name for this yet. Around 0.33% of people have something called trigger finger, and this happens when the tendon that controls the thumb is too swollen and doesn't allow the thumb to flex. Clasp your hands right now and see what they look like afterwards. 50% of people put their right thumb over the left one, 49% of people do it the other way around, so left thumb over the right one, and the other 1% do it a really strange way as seen above. About 18% of people bruise easily, and people with fair skin tend to bruise more easily. And as you get older, your blood vessels weaken so your skin thins and makes it easier to bruise. Around 12% of people dream in black and white, and dreaming in black and white is a lot more common for people 55 years old and older. One study even found that in 1940, before colorized television, 75% of people dreamt in black and white. About 33% of people have a widow's peak. A widow's peak is a little V-shape on your hairline. These tend to be caused due to genetics, so they typically run in families. About 10% of people have eczema. Eczema is generally characterized by rough or inflamed patches of skin, but there's many different types. There's sadly no actual cure for it right now either. Only 6% of people have a cleft chin. A cleft chin is just a dimple in the middle of your chin. This is usually genetic and you can actually add or remove one with surgery. About 12.5% of people have something called varicose veins. These are swollen or twisted veins under the skin that kind of pop out, and these are caused by weakened or damaged vein walls or valves. About 1% of people suffer from excessive sweating, also known as hyperhidrosis. This is when you suffer from excessive sweating, usually in the armpits, hands, or feet. Only 4% of people have something called Raynaud's syndrome. This is when a part of your body, usually your fingers or toes, start to turn white when you're exposed to low temperatures or the cold, and this happens because the body is over reacting to the low temperatures or distress. About 85% of people have black hair and this is the most common worldwide. It can sometimes look like it's dark brown as well. And people with darker hair tend to have more hairs per square inch on their head. So it tends to look thick and full. Only about 11% of people have naturally brown or brunette hair. People with brown hair normally have medium thick hair strands with very few having fine or coarse hairs. Only about 2% of people have naturally blonde hair. Natural blondes normally have more hair strands on their head. They have about 100 150,000 while brown and brunette normally have around 100,000. Only about 1% of people have naturally red hair. Natural red hair is a recessive trait that only occurs when the person has two copies, one from each parent of the mutated gene.